It's bounce back Saturday for Bobcat football in Buffalo. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Welcome to our week eight preview presented by Donwood Toyota of Athens on the web at donwoodtoyota.com. It's a five and two and two and one Bobcats and two and four and zero oh and two Buffalo in Western New York on Saturday. The question is, how will Ohio respond to some adversity after losing in the worst home loss since 1990 last weekend, 49 to 14 against Western Michigan? The good news is it was just one setback. There are five weeks, including this week, left in the regular season. So all of the goals are still out there for this ball club. Winning a division title, going to Detroit, winning the MAC championship, going to a bowl game and winning that too. Some injuries are piling up, and yes, they didn't play all that great against WMU, but it only counts as one loss. So they have the opportunity to bounce back and control their own destiny in this drive to Detroit. In bouncing back, they'll see a Buffalo ball club that has its horns up, charging in a brand new era. If you follow Division III football, you know about Wisconsin Whitewater. The Warhawks have won six national championships. Lance Leipold was the head coach for each of them. He was the fastest coach at any level to 100 wins. He was 109 and 6 at Whitewater. And he has ties to Ohio head coach Frank Solich. He was on his staff at Nebraska for three seasons. Now he's in his first year at Buffalo. After an 8 and 5 2013, which included the Bulls' second bowl trip ever, he lost to San Diego State in the Idaho Potato Bowl. There was a 5 win 2014 and a coaching change. Now, UFB has two convincing wins in six weeks, but that doesn't tell the whole story. The Bulls beat Albany in the opener and Florida Atlantic on the road in week three, but three of the four losses were close, two by single digits, Nevada by three and Bowling Green by six. They pushed Penn State, and it was a game late. 27-14 was that final. And much like Ohio, the Bulls are coming off their worst loss, 51-14 at Central Michigan last week. They're ninth in the MAC in total offense and seventh in overall defense. Running back Anthony Taylor is fifth in the league in yards per game with 86. He has two touchdowns, but he isn't 100% with an ankle injury. Quarterback Joe Licata has a lot of experience. He's a senior. He's sixth in the league with 229 passing yards per game. He has eight touchdowns and six interceptions. Ron Willoughby and Matt Weiser are his top targets. Combined, they have 690 yards and four touchdowns. Defensively, they have 12 sacks and five interceptions. Linebackers Brandon Berry and Nick Gilbo lead the team in tackles. Berry is 54 and seven for loss. Gilbo is 52 and two and a half sacks. They are a second half team. They've outscored their opponents 101 to 58 in the final 30 minutes this year. It's meeting 22 in the all-time series. Ohio has 13 wins, Buffalo has eight. The two have split the last six meetings. Ohio won at Athens last year. The Cats lost in the Nickel City the last time out there two years ago. It's on the American Sports Network. Check your local listings for station information there. It's also on ESPN3. And our coverage on the Ohio IMG Sports Network starts at 2.30 with the kick at 3.30 from Buffalo. It's Ohio and the Bulls. And our Game Week preview has been presented by Don Wood Toyota of Athens. For Derek Mashiro, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Enjoy the game. This is Bobcat TV.